Should you buy the HX Stomp? Is it overpriced? Is it outdated? Should you buy something else? These are all questions that I want to answer in today's video. And in my opinion, yes, you should absolutely consider buying the Stomp. But of course, there's a lot more you need to know before you're going to make your decision. Hey everybody, my name's Zach, and at this point, I have owned the flagship Helix, the Helix LT, and the Stomp, and I've always been blown away by Line 6's ability to jam-pack their units with a ton of features and still sound amazing, even for a quarter of the price. I guess a third of the price. And with all that said, I wanna to try to answer those three main questions. Is the Stomp still relevant? Is it overpriced? And is there other options that you should consider? If you're new here, be sure to subscribe and let's dive into today's video. Now, it has been over five years since the stomp was introduced and of course, a lot of things can change in five years especially when it comes to technology. However, that's not stopped the competition from coming out with other platforms such as the Iridium, the Ruby or the Dream from Universal Audio, or IK Multimedia's Tonex, or even Walrus Audio's ACS-1. Although many of those pedals that I just mentioned were IR platforms, other companies have come out with multi-effects pedals such as the GT-1000 from Boss, or Hot Tones Ampero, or Headrush the MX-5 or their Gigboard. And part of the reason I think the Stomp is still so relevant is because it is not attempting to just do one thing. It does a lot of things fantastic and really well. It can do the IR platform, it can do the amp sounds, it can also be your audio interface, you can plug in with headphones, and it has fantastic effects, and it sounds the same as their flagship model, which is three times as expensive. And with recent firmware updates, this has gone from being able to have six blocks to eight blocks, and this is truly a unit that has gotten better with time. Now, I think one counter argument to some of the points that I just made would be that the other solutions are gonna be both smaller and more simple in their user face. The HX Stomp is jam-packed and maybe even a little cluttered at time with a ton of different features. In this case, with my recent pedal board build, which you can find the full video right here, I actually wanted something a little bit more simple initially, but I found such a fantastic deal on the Stomp, I decided to build my entire board off of that unit. And for me, the HX Stomp not only acts as my amp, and my dry effects, but it also acts as my modulation, and then I use the effects loop to send out to the Eternity and the Revelation, which are both of my wet effects, back into the auxiliary input of the HX Stomp. One final call that I think most people realized almost immediately with the HX Stomp was the lack of available foot switches. In this case, that can be alleviated just by simply upgrading to the Stomp XL. However, I wanted something small in its overall size, and that's where I added an additional foot switch. And of course, there's a lot of other options out there that are relatively inexpensive that are just external foot switches controlled through TRS cable that just unlock a fourth and a fifth button on the Stomp or give you the ability to go up and down a bank, but they're very limited in what you can control with them. This is where I personally wanted to use the Jet Micro as something that is MIDI controlled, and I can actually go in and use it to go up and down on banks. I can use it for my tap tempo, I can use it for my tuner to control the looper, additional stomp blocks, or even send tap tempo out through my eternity. And with all these available features, these upgrades, I think the Stomp is still a fantastic option in 2023. The other day I was looking at my page analytics and I noticed that 90% of the people that enjoy this content do not end up subscribing. And most of these videos take me close to eight to 10 hours to put together. So if you find this content helpful, please like, please subscribe, and let's keep going with today's video. Now, of course, talking about price can always be a bit subjective. However, in my opinion, I think 700 new for a stomp can be a little too expensive. And this is where I would recommend if you can find a unit on Facebook Marketplace or on Reverb for around $500, it makes it a no-brainer 
and in my opinion, an absolute must have in your arsenal. If you're watching this video and you're finding that the stop may be too limited, that's where I think you could use that seven or $800 and purchase the LT, which is going to give you something very comparable to the flagship Helix with a more limited external hardware. And my final thought around pricing, which could probably be the summation of this entire video, is that I think for the price point that the Stomp is at, it's an absolute no brainer I think that Line 6 does a phenomenal job jam-packing all of their features that they can into such a tiny unit that is perfect for travel as an all-in-one rig or for a flight rig. And you still have fantastic amp sounds and effects that are worth 1500 plus. I've mentioned a few alternatives throughout this video, but I think it comes down to two questions. A, how much are you willing to spend? And B, what do you want out of a unit? For me personally, I wanted something that was small that could fit on a tiny board, but in this case, the stop gives me my amp, my tuner, my tap tempo, MIDI capabilities, and my dry effects. If you are looking for a true all-in-one solution, I don't think the HX Stomp is right for you. In this case, you may find that eight blocks is too limited, or the lack of available switches may limit your ability to create snapshots the way you want to. In this case, this is where I think the LT is fantastic because then you get eight additional slots for your foot switches and you get an external foot switch for your volume or your walk. Depending on your needs, the PodGo may be a fantastic consideration. In this case, you still get fantastic amp sounds and effects, but you're much more limited on the signal chain and the controllability of the unit. Additionally, if you are not limited to that $700 price point, this is where I would recommend units such as the Fractal FM3 or the Kemper Unpowered Head. Both of those units will bring you closer to around $1,000. And if you've been following the channel for a while, you know I have been a Kemper user for the last five years, and I've always loved the simplicity, the amp tone, and the feel of the Kemper unit. Lastly, I think some of the earlier mentioned items could be a really fantastic option, such as the Tonex, which is a modeler that even rivals the Kemper or if you want something simple like an IR solution, the ACS-1 gives you a ton of options and is relatively inexpensive for what you get. Headrush also has their MX-5, which is relatively limited, but their new Prime series has not only gotten fantastic reviews, it sounds amazing as well and gives users a ton of flexibility to profile both amps and pedals. Lastly, the Boss GT-1000 is one other consideration in my opinion, Boss has fantastic effects, but they are still lagging behind on amp tone and amp feel. In summation, I think the HX Stomp absolutely rivals the competition even five years later, both in terms of size and playability and tone, and deserves a spot on every player's board. If you want to see the full breakdown of my recent pedal board build, check that out here, and I will see you next time.